Hey everyone, welcome back to Rolo Gaming. Today we're going to be doing another Political Machine 2020 AI only game. And as we're getting into the game, obviously we can see Joe Biden and Trump. But something that this game doesn't know yet is that Kamala Harris is the VP pick for Joe Biden. And we all know that Joe Biden is the one that won the whole DNC thing, but let's be honest. He's a little sleepy, and since he's a little sleepy, I think that maybe Kamala Harris will step up and uh, maybe run things for him. Maybe run the entire election. And the entire nation if she wins. So as for our Democrat, we have Joe Biden. No, no, <laughs> scratch that. He's uh, a little sleepy, way too sleepy. We're gonna have Kamala Harrison. Let's be honest with ourselves. If Joe Biden wins this election, Kamala Harris is gonna be running things, so why not just make her the running candidate? Oh, and I wanted to say that this is all just like a big old joke, so please don't take any of this seriously. Who knows, if Joe Biden passes tomorrow, and God forsake he doesn't, Kamala Harris would be the new candidate for the uh, Democrats. So this is just a pretty much what if Kamala Harris replaces Joe Biden in the uh, 2020 election. First of all, let's go ahead and see Kamala Harris's stats. Kamala Harris is a senator and her home state is California, where she used to be an attorney general, but we all know that because of what Tulsi Gabbard has said about it. As for her stats, her stamina is normal, charisma is magnetic, intelligence is sharp, and is liked by the media bias, has a respectable amount of experience, and has a lot of minority appeal. She literally has a mother who is Indian and a father who is Jamaican. Her starting money is average. This game lets your candidate pick a VP, so since she's gonna be our candidate, she can go ahead and pick anyone from the Democratic list to be her VP. Kamala Harris could even pick Joe Biden as her VP. And uh, you know, we have Joe Rogan here just in case. I even made Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You can't see his head because he's so freaking tall. You know what would be really funny if Kamala Harris picked Tulsi Gabbard as her VP? I think Gabbard would pretty much be like, what? Okay, as for a Republican, we know who's coming in. Mr. Donald Trump himself. And I don't think there's a lot to really be said here. We know what kind of person Donald Trump is. There should be an option here, lower than loathe. All right, with that being said, I think everyone is set. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, Kamala Harris is starting off in California and Trump is starting off in New York. Let's see the first state that they visit. Ah, they're both going straight to Florida. I hope they don't get the coronavirus. Study finds that video games are good for your health and well-being. Finally! Especially political strategy games, yes! <laughs> but yeah, I hope these two are wearing masks while they're in Florida. They're definitely gonna need it. Alright, looks like both of them have set up a campaign headquarters in Florida. Trump went to Texas. Yeehaw! You know, Joe Rogan's there. You know what, this is week one of the election, so he probably is there, right? Oh my god, is Trump finally gonna do a Joe Rogan podcast? If Trump and Kamala Harris met up, I wonder what they would talk about. I wonder how those kind of speeches would go. I know Trump has gone with phony Harris, but uh, I don't know, I don't really like that. You could probably find out like better names to call her. I also have no idea what Kamala Harris's true political standings are. She used to be way more conservative during the times that she was an attorney general, and she said so so many things contradicting herself. Things about Joe Biden being like, you know, uh, I don't think I can say it here on YouTube, but uh, you, you know, you guys can search, search it up on the YouTubes and the Twitters. Ooh, we got a new person here. A smear merchant by Trump. Check it out, it's Ben Shapiro talking about WAP. <laughs> I have no idea how that's on YouTube. Oh, and it looks like Trump made a speech here saying that he supports traditional values in Georgia. I mean, Georgia's very traditional. I know some people watch my videos from the United Kingdom, so I wonder what they think about this whole situation. Hey, if you're from the UK and you watch my videos, go ahead and let me know what you guys think about this whole situation going on in the United States. And Trump made another statement saying that he wants to support stopping the coronavirus. Mr. Trump, you're not even wearing a mask. Come on. <laughs> don't worry about Kamala. She's, I don't know. She has like a face mask that has a smile on. Ooh, Kamala Harris has come out with another speech. This time saying that she supports student loan reform. Something I agree with. The student loan program and reform in the United States really needs to be fixed. The student loan situation in the United States is horrible. Like, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt and there's so many universities that are just fake. So I wonder how Kamala Harris would fix that situation. I wonder if she would pretty much like wipe the debt or make it so that you know you, these universities are just going crazy with their tuitions to make it so that those universities calm the hell down. Oh and just so you guys know I am from Canada so there's a lot here that I don't really know. Okay Kamala Harris is throwing her full support behind universal health care and Donald Trump wants to protect their borders. Florida is now a battleground state and so much has happened because I didn't press pause and they're still moving stop stop you guys for some reason Trump keeps on visiting California as if he's gonna change something which he's not Michigan and Florida are battleground states which is uh, interesting Kamala Harris has come out to say that she supports LGBTQ rights in uh, where is this Vermont Bernie Sanders is home state I wonder if she's going there to also go and say hello to Bernie Sanders. Maybe they're planning on working together. Remember, Kamala Harris can pick a new VP in this game. Maybe she'll pick Bernie Sanders. Who knows? Let's go ahead and check out their assets really quickly. Kamala Harris is making an income of $90,000. And Donald Trump is getting way more money at $110,000. Currently, I think we're still seeing enough blue that, um... This could go either way. There's currently around 10% that's still up for grabs. As for the polls, it looks like Donald Trump is leading the polls, but uh, we'll have to see as this continues. And then what the actual result is gonna be. And if you guys are watching this in the future and are like, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris did win, then go ahead and, I don't know, get in the comments and be like, Hey, uh, just so you know, uh, Joe Biden totally won, and this video was right or wrong. I don't even know how this video is still gonna go because I'm still like midway through the game. Okay, let's just continue, let's just continue. Oh hey, Trump made a new statement in Michigan saying that he wants to support fixing infrastructure. It seems like the Republicans don't really care about infrastructure in Michigan, but it does look like the Democrats care. So maybe he's trying to like steal votes or something, and since in this game, Trump has way more money he can go ahead and spend a ton on making headquarters and making speeches. Looks like Kamala Harris has bought a new ideology saying she's for protecting the environment. Well done Kamala Harris I think that's a very important thing especially as climate change is making everything harder and worse. Oh hey Kamala Harris has also said that she wants to stop the coronavirus in Florida. I think Florida is currently the worst in terms of coronavirus numbers, right? Wow, Kamala Harris, who used to be an AG, says that she opposes border protection. Kamala Harris would probably never ever say this in real life. As far as I know, Trump makes a new statement saying that he opposes the environment. In Arkansas. I'm pretty sure Arkansas is a pretty nice place too, right? Very environmentally beautiful. I don't know, I'm a Canadian, don't look at me. Actually, go ahead and let me know what you think the most beautiful state is in the United States of America. Looks like Trump wants to build a wall and deport illegal aliens. Alright, we're seeing a lot of purple states. This could go either way. At least Kamala Harris is currently holding California and New York. Those are going to be very important to hold control of. Oh, and it looks like they've both selected a vice president. Oh my god, it's Jeb! Jeb Bush! Trump picked Jeb Bush as his running mate from Florida. What? Now this is a meme game for sure now. And Kamala Harris had picked Al Gore. Is he still alive? Alright folks, you're gonna have to wait. I need to see this. Al Gore. Holy shit, he's still alive. He's 72 years old. How old is Joe Biden? 77, okay. Wow, I think uh, Kamala Harris might be into uh, old guys. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's all cool with me. All right, Kamala Harris and Al Gore and Trump with Jeb Bush. Honestly, if you have Jeb Bush on your team, I think you win automatically. I mean, it's Jeb Bush. Is Jeb Bush still alive? Oh my God. Holy shit, he's 67. And just so you guys know, we're halfway done the whole election week process. Wow, Trump can make so many moves just because of the fact that his energy and his stamina level is at like hyper. Kamala Harris is at like a massive disadvantage of having like her stamina only be at normal. Trump could go and travel between like seven different places before Kamala Harris could even make another move. And it also looks like these two vice presidents are doing their thing. Jeb Bush has gone to California to 
tell the Californians to, uh, I don't know, please clap. And Al Gore turned Michigan into a blue state. Good work, Al Gore. I wish I knew more about Al Gore. God, there's too much history about the United States that I need to know. I wonder why no one has brought up China just yet. Trump campaigns on funding NASA in Florida. And eh, who needs NASA now? We got SpaceX anyway. Holy, we got everyone in Florida. Except for Trump, he's like, I, I don't know, it's not for me. This is why they call it a battleground state. This is where they all go and uh, rumble. Ha! Ha! And have you guys seen Kamala Harris? She's looking strong as hell. She could definitely knock out Jeb Bush anytime. And it looks like the Democrats have a smear merchant of themselves. This one will go ahead and chalk it up to, uh, I don't know, CNN. CNN back it again. Trump throws his full support behind selective immigration. All the ideologies Trump has chosen is all about like immigration. Jeez, Trump, we get it, man. Come on. <laughs> Kamala Harris throws her full support behind renewable energy. And they said his here, but I think uh, Kamala Harris is a woman. As far as I know, I think this game just misgendered Kamala Harris. Yoink! This is definitely gonna go on Reddit. Okay, we're getting really close here, folks. Week 17 of 21. If you just look at this map, it's looking really, really bad for the Republicans. I know I gave Kamala Harris a bad name for a long time there, but uh... It looks like she's doing really, really well. I'm actually really proud of her. So many of these games just end up going to the Republicans. So far, it looks like only the South is on the Republican side. They need to visit these states up here. Montana, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, South Dakota, and North Dakota. Just try to make these into red states. Along with West Virginia. Can never forget about West Virginia. West Virginia! So far Trump has been able to get both Florida and Texas and that's going to be a huge help for him. As for Kamala Harris, she's got both New York and California. Before we see the election, let's go ahead and see anything that we might have missed. Trump went all the way to Washington to say that he supports building the wall. Why does Washington care? They're right next to Canada. Oh shoot, are they going to put a wall next to Canada now? If they start building a wall between Canada and the United States, Canadians are pretty much just going to be like, what are you doing, eh? <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and see this election. Oh, before that, let's go ahead and quickly check the polls. Holy snap! Kamala Harris is predicted to win by a lot. All right, let's go ahead and see this election. Okay, here we go. The election. I said, here we go, the election. Okay, they're in the last week, whatever. Okay, here we go, here we go. Actually, a lot of early blue. Harris already has 92, 112. Trump finally just got 15. And Florida goes to the Republicans. All right, looks like Trump is starting to uh, gain a little bit of points here. I doubt he still has like any bit of a chance. If he maybe gets like all the purple states, maybe he'll win. But so far it's looking really bad for Trump. Harris is just taking this. Look at all that blue. They're really close, but uh, I think Trump is gonna lose. Yep, Trump already lost because uh, California is like, bam, 300 points. Oh, Oh boy. Wow, that actually wasn't that much of a loss for uh, Trump. He still had around like 200 electoral votes, so he lost by like 100 electoral votes. But yeah, here's our winner, Kamala Harris, the first uh, female black president of the United States of America. And for some reason, uh, Joe Biden decided to dress up as, what's his name, Al Gore? Yes, Al Gore. So yeah, for some reason, Joe Biden has become Al Gore. He. Uh, I don't know, put an Al Gore mask on and this is just who he is now. All right, let's go ahead and see this little newspaper thing. Harris has won the day and the presidency with a strong showing of both the popular vote and the electoral college. One of the deciding factors in Harris's victory was her use of ideological points, which she used more extensively than Trump. Harris spent more money than Trump. Money may not buy you love, but it can apparently buy you votes. Oh, so that's how she won. She won by bribing everyone, okay. Hear that everyone? The game has said it. But yeah, I can't wait to see the actual election results in November. It's gonna be one hell of a time. That being said, I hope you guys liked the video and know that I was just joking throughout the whole way. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and bye bye.